So we do have our first playoff. It is Fitzpatrick against this guy, Scotty Scheffler. Scheffler beat Fitzpatrick earlier today, five and four, to force this playoff. Paul playing in the wing today, hit the little healer. He likes it, should be okay. Gets good bounce. Oh, yeah. That's in great shape there. Front hole location here at one. Likes it. Picking up the tee very quickly. Oh. I think it was maybe out of disgust. There's a couple of fairway bunkers over there. It's a little pressure now on Scotty Scheffler. And he's got the club face open a little bit, so he is going to throw it up in the air. Oh, yeah. He's handled pressure so well. A number of spots over the last year. Sheffler, I'm fairly certain, is almost a gimme rain, but this is going to move a little too big. It's Patrick Wright. Oh, yes. Sneaks it in the left side. It's clutch right there. Okay. Matching birdies. And onward they go. He has yet to make a par on this hole this week. This position and wow, now he's got a birdie putt upcoming. Yeah, it's a good shot there. And now Scotty Scheffler. Got a downhill lie. He's got to make really good contact here. Get forward shaft lean. Like that. Oh. oh, that looked good from about 10 feet away, Justin. Yes, it did. It was center cut. Yeah, between these two looks, this is the tougher of the two look. Two looks. A little downhill to start, a little uphill at the end. And that will not be conceded. No, it will not. A knee knocker here from just beyond four feet. Extend this playoff. Okay. Oh. Okay. Just snuck in the left side. They march to the third. And now to the playoff. You hear the optimism in Justin's voice. Matt Fitzpatrick on the tee here at the par three. Par four, excuse me. Third hole, and this thing is running. What? Holy cow. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen anybody pass the crosswalk down there. Oh, he's going to have just a chip shot from that point. I almost like Scotty Scheffler's position here because he's back far enough. He can put some spin on this ball. Also a ridge in back of that, so perhaps get back of the hole and spin it back. It's a little deeper than he wanted. Yeah. You see, there's not much room to work with there, though. Yeah, not much green to work with from this angle, so it's going to take a precise carry. Get it close. No, oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, just if a little further back, that would have spun back. Look how far out to the left he's playing it. Expecting a swinger. Not that's enough. Exactly what happened. Swung down to the right. Matthew Fitzpatrick, the birdie to win the group and move on. Does he have it? Nope. Just wanders off to the right. He went right after this hole, and the wind has picked it up, just pushing it a little left. Oh, that'll catch the slope, though. And that's going to continue to get a little easier. It'll hang in, which it does. Oh, he's got this one tracking just left of the hole. And that goes all the way to the top. And that's going to leave a very fast putt. Worth hole, this is Matthew Fitzpatrick. He's nudging it down the hill here at the par three. 
Good touch. Yeah, nicely done there. Straight back up the hill. Not a whole lot of break in it. Can get aggressive and give this a little bit of a roll if you'd like. It's too high. Was it going to break that much? Matthew's going to see it. Well, he should. Scotty Scheffler. He's drivable. 342. Yeah, it's a big down slope that starts about 100 yards short of the green. If it lands on that, which it does, just propels it forward. Look at this. That's going to end up through the green. But that's in a great spot, right on the back of the green. If he rehearses on the line that he needs to hit this on to utilize the break and get it close, the tree is right in his way. And look, chipping cross-handed as well. But yeah, if he can get a little hook spin on it, it will release a little bit lower. He's done. Now it far enough left. Wind's got it. Fabulous effort right wow. there. Wow. What a shot. That's just brilliant. That's something he never practices. Drop off that we saw Fitzpatrick's ball picks some speed up at. So about two thirds of the way through this putt, it's going to go down to the lower level where the hole's cut. So it can't carry too much speed into that slope. Otherwise, it'll run on past and possibly off the green. Yeah, it's going to break a decent bit to the left as well because that slope runs at an angle to where he's putting. And there is where it starts to go down. To stay alive, it appears. Nads. And you just get the sense you're looking at a, a young player who's going to win a lot of important championships. That's that steadiness, the metal, the square jaw. Have to want to see it. He's the, on the opposite side of the hole, so. He's just on that right center, but I would take all the break out and just hit it firm. Well, it's hard to do justice just how good that pitch shot was from Matthew Fitzpatrick, knowing that Scotty Scheffler was in good shape. Just a brilliant up and down. How long will this thing last? Mm. Yeah. Man, he looked confident right. with that driver, Dota. Yeah, it's going to need a straight kick. If it gets it, it should hold the fairway. Wow, that thing is going to tumble. <laughs> part five playing 574 yards today. Full location up in the front left part of the green. And now Fitzpatrick's turn. Yeah, he's not going to be able to take that line. He's got to take something a little more up the left. Fatty boy. OK, good swing there from that. Trying to turn, yeah, I think it's going to do it. He doesn't have the horsepower that Scotty Scheffler has, but he does have the accuracy. Second shot here at the par five, sixth. Noting it right there. Sending that Gary from 245. This is a little out to the right. It'll depend on the bounce. Landed just short of the greenside bunker. I'm not sure how far right it carried or, or run, ran out. And Gary, this is that clear disparity in power, 30 yards closer. So only two to the front, playing about six or seven yards downhill. Started left. Is it cutting? He's trying to hold it back into the wind. Yes, it's holding its line just left of the hole. Needs a bounce forward. Doesn't get it. Fine shape, just a couple of yards short of the green. The playoff, Matt Fitzpatrick just played his third, the par five six, so that left for birdie. But he does need this to go, in my opinion. Big swinger from the right. Oh, All right, so Shuffler with a chance. 
similar length to the one that he made at five to tie that hole. It seems to you know be very comfortable with these situations and calm and uh, tends to make a lot of big putts. He's got it. So Scheffler will move on into the round of 16 tomorrow morning. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.